Warren Buffett, renowned for his extensive commentary on diverse financial topics, often communicates in an oblique and generally optimistic manner. However, his statements during an April interview this year resonated shockingly across the globe, particularly as the economy appeared robust and durable at that time. Reflecting upon his words now, it seems Buffett may have been subtly alluding to grave concerns. Recall that in the previous year, numerous financial analysts and institutions, including Deutsche Bank, postulated the looming onset of a 2023 recession, with Deutsche Bank asserting a near certain probability of such an economic downturn in the United States within the year. Without delving into tedious statistical details, a brief examination of the then scenario reveals a national decline in home values, marking the first occurrence since 2008, unprecedented hikes in interest rates, and an ominous inversion of the yield curve, a traditionally solid financial prognosticator, all heralding a challenging future. Despite these forewarnings as the year progressed, a general disregard for these signs became apparent. Summer brought a temporary halt to the real estate slump, a surge of optimism in the stock market, and an acceptance of the new elevated interest rates. Yet, in the past six months, there seems to have been a collective detachment from the early year indicators. Buffett's cautions were largely overlooked, or perhaps willfully disbelieved, despite the potential gravity they implied. In his interview conducted by Becky Quick, when asked about his market outlook, bullish or bearish, Buffett's response, though indirect, was meticulously worded and now fuels significant concern about the upcoming winter. The implications he hinted at half a year ago are beginning to materialize. Before delving deeper into this topic, I invite you to support this channel by liking and subscribing if you find the content engaging. Your support, through a simple click, greatly benefits this channel. Now, let's return to the discussion at hand. To ask you um, about the economy. We have heard recently from Jamie Dimon in his annual letter uh, at JP Morgan, he says a recession is much more likely now. Janet Yellen was just speaking, I think in the last 24 hours, although it's hard to track from here when things are happening, has just said in the last 24 hours, I think that the U.S. is in better shape now than it was six months ago. Which of those camps would you put yourself in? Well, I, I, I know what a lot of different businesses are doing, and I just got report from one of them that happens to be in the retail-related business. And in any event, you know, it was minus 22% in February from a year ago. In they sales? didn't think that was going to happen. Sales? You mean in sales. Profit. Yeah. In sales, probably down a lot more than that. On the other hand, some of our businesses are still doing fine, but they all are reporting that the new, you know, some of them are living off of orders were placed months earlier and that sort of thing. But, but uh, it's a tougher world. And the railroad business is down, uh, and Carlo's carried, uh, but it isn't dramatic. And of course, we've got a utility business, and that doesn't really vary m much with things. So, it but overall, I think people that run our businesses that do have any sensitivity to the economy are surprised at where they are now compared to where they thought they were going to be six months ago. As previously observed. Warren Buffett noted a discernible deceleration in some of the enterprises under his stewardship, notably the railroads. Delving deeper with recent data at our disposal, this concern has escalated to a dire warning. Railroad freight traffic and volume are recognized as precursors to broader economic trends. Presently, six months on, the Union Pacific Earnings Report offers a detailed glimpse into the current situation. Questioning the state of affairs, whether deteriorating, stable, or improving, the recent earnings report, released a fortnight ago, corroborates Buffett's insights. The railroad market has indeed shifted towards a bearish outlook. Significant downturns are evident. Revenues have declined by over 9%, profits have plummeted by 20%, and volume has decreased by 3%. The trend is unmistakable. A gradual slowing of the sector's rhythm. The ramifications are alarming extending beyond railroads. The trucking industry, another key economic indicator, mirrors these troubling signs. Currently embroiled in a substantial recession, the trucking sector is grappling with bankruptcies, diminished rates, escalating fuel expenses, and market oversaturation, leading to a significant upheaval. The World Container Index, monitoring container traffic across eight major shipping routes, 
reveals a staggering 75% decline in traffic compared to the previous year. This figure is astounding, indicating deep-rooted economic anomalies that, while not yet pervasively felt across most industries, are increasingly permeating various sectors. Turning back to Buffett, his response to direct inquiries about a potential recession was, characteristically, indirect yet revealing. His choice of words, leaning towards a bearish perspective, seems to echo his deeper convictions. If one listens attentively, it becomes apparent. Buffett perceives a global deceleration, a sentiment he has experienced firsthand. But you think a recession is more likely now than maybe you would have said six months ago? Well, I think most of our managers would say, would say that they are surprised at where they are now compared to how they thought they were going to feel six months ago at this point. And in a lot of businesses, but yeah. not in the insurance business, you know. And, and uh, uh, but I think the people at the railroad are, are somewhat surprised that car loadings aren't a little higher rather than a little lower, you know, somewhat lower. But most of the stuff we carry is, is essential, but, but it reflects what's happening. And, and of course, supply lines were so disrupted and everything a year or two ago that, uh, uh, you know, no economic figures are pure, but I will, I'm just telling you my impression. As Warren Buffett explained, we're seeing a drop in sales and profits across various businesses, which is pretty worrying. This is happening at a time when it's getting more expensive to borrow money and getting a loan is getting harder. For a while, a surprise jump in technology stocks this summer seemed to help the economy. But if you look at some of the most stable businesses, from technology to trucking, railroads, and real estate, it's clear that consumers are starting to struggle. It feels like we've reached a high point and are now looking over a steep drop. A lot of people are beginning to worry as they realize what's happening. The thing about the economy is that it changes slowly, whether it's getting better or worse. A big crash doesn't usually happen all at once. It's more like a slow disaster that unfolds just when people stop worrying about a financial crisis. Just when it seems like nothing can stop our economy, which has been growing since 2020, the combination of higher interest rates and less money available starts to slow things down. And then, suddenly, everything stops and financial panic sets in. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Warren Buffett's comments from April, so leave a comment and let me know.